Here's a fascinating claim made by Bernice Canner. Take a minute and read the description. Do you see a binomial distribution in this situation? Let's look at these seven individuals, assuming that they've been essentially selected at random. Each one of them have a 10% a chance of having a deliberate one-time fleeing. So we're looking at a sample size of seven individuals. We know that each individual has a 10% chance of having previously had a one-time fleeing. D-binome finds the probability for any given number. So if we wanted to find that none of the friends had had a fleeing, then we'd do a D-binome of zero. And we find that there's about a 40... Uh, 48% chance, almost 47.8% chance that none of them had had a fleeing. The second question is that at least one person uh, had a fleeing. Well, we could figure out that, that at least one had a fleeing by subtracting. Well, that's an interesting way of counting, is by counting by subtracting. If we took everything and subtracted what we didn't want, that is, those that the probability that none of them had a fleeing, then that would leave us with the probability that at least one of them had a fleeing. And here's another important function to know, is that P binome calculates the probability of that X value and everything less than it. So that would be the X value, uh, the probability that two had a fling, the probability that one had a fling, and the probability that none had a fling. That, that sum of those probabilities is the probability that no more than two had a fling. So let's run that script. So there's all of those problems solved at once. The D binome of zero means that the probability that none of the friends had a fling, about 47, 48 percent. The one minus D binome is that at least one of them had a, a fling, so that's more than 50 percent, 52.1 percent, 52.2 percent. The probability that no more than two, that two or less, had a fling is 97.4 percent. 